Hello, my sweet goats, and welcome to another Let's Talk. Listen, I would like to, I would like you to just ignore the mess in the in the background. It's very representative of of my life in the moment. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on, uh, and you guys will find out. But before I get into this uh, this this video, I would like to mention two things. The first thing, in telling you this story, I am not looking for pity points. I'm not looking to, uh, um, you know, to, for you to fucking feel bad for me. <sighs> I uh, I don't need that. I don't I don't need that. I'm I'm strong. I'm dealing with this. However, I'm going to deal with it. And, and and one of the ways of dealing with it is kind of sharing the story with you. And so that if you are in a situation that is similar to mine, that you could gain some insight from it, and that you can understand that understand what to do. Because a part of me feels very responsible for you guys because I do have a certain level of influence, and I would like to use that in a positive manner. Um, so there we go. That's 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 one thing. The second thing is that this is about my ex-girlfriend and I, it's not a way to get back at her and I, I'm not going to be using her name. And if you do know her name, please do not write her name in the comments. I would really appreciate that. If you are one of my friends in real life and you're watching this, which I doubt is the case because my friends in real life do not watch me online. Um, do not uh, think of her as a bad person because she isn't. She isn't. She's one of the most beautiful people I've ever met. And even now, I'm very much in love with her. And if she called me right after I uploaded this video uh, and said, uh, please take me back, I would take her back in a second. And that's also another reason why I don't want to say her name because I don't want you guys uh, running her name through the mud after that, if that were to happen, which I don't think is going to happen, honestly. Um, not, not for me, but because of her. I just don't think that she is. she loves me as much as she said she did. Um, so... Uh, so essentially, this is what what it comes down to, right? Um, in June, I got messaged by a girl, my currently my ex girlfriend, uh, who and she said, "I think you're really hot and funny," and it was really interesting because we were kind of having like a little bit of a back and forth on uh, on social media on Facebook and uh, at the time, and uh, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I was amazed because for me. Uh, I had had a crush on her for a long time and not like an active crush on, uh, on her where I would like reach out to her regularly. Like I was only talking to her again, like, and like, like I said, in June, like when that, when VidCon happened, I was talking to her and, um, it was very recent that I had started talking to her and for the most part for like the majority of the time, like I left her alone because she lived in a different city. She lived in Toronto. I live in Montreal and I was like, fuck it. Um, uh, so when she messaged me, I was like, holy shit, I got, I got to capitalize on this because I fucking have a crush on this girl. It'd be amazing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to be in Toronto soon, which I didn't need to be, but I was like, let's go for a walk. And, and, uh, and so then that be began a, uh, that was the beginning of a com beautiful relationship, something that was just very liberating, something that was very, uh, amazing and just wonderful. Um, and she unlocked something in me that I never, I didn't even know I had anymore. I thought it was buried so, so deep because of all the anxiety I've been carrying with me my whole life, but she made me realize that I'm this better person and I'm someone that is able to command an audience, someone that is able to, uh, uh, to, to reach for, for more than whatever I thought was possible. And I'm th so thankful for that about her. Like, it's really, it's really one of the things that makes me, uh, that I think about often. And of course, you know, the romance was at an all time high. Uh, but she always had this thing that was holding her back. There was something uh, uh, like, and, and in this, and she would say it was her depression or anxiety. And I understood that because I have anxiety and I, I, a form of anxiety and I know how to deal with it. Um, I'm by not, I'm by no means the most anxious person, but I do have it. And sometimes it is a little bit overwhelming, but for the most part, because I'm a strong, uh, strong willed individual, I, I get, I can get past it. So I was strong for both of us and I was like, it's all good. It's not a big deal. Like she would just have these moments where she would like get quiet and that was okay. I didn't think much of it because I don't think anything of it because I think that when I, when, when a girl is dating me, I don't think that there is any possibility of any other guy being involved or anybody else being involved. I just do not think that's possible. I just don't see it as a possibility because I provide so much more than the average boyfriend. I just do. It's just in my nature. It's just the way it is. I don't do it because I feel like that's what they want. I do it because that's just how I am. So December comes and she breaks up with me and she uh, tells me it's because she's really depressed. She doesn't know what she's doing with her life. She's so fucked up. She's just like, I'm just so screwed up about my life. And that's it. And uh, um, I was like, well, that's fucking crazy. I didn't want to hold her back. But at the same time, I was like, what are you doing? Like, we're so good together. What are you doing? 
She's like, I'm just, she's like, I'm just, I'm not there right now. I'm just not here. I can't do it. I like need to fix myself. I can't bring you down. And so I left her alone for like a month and a half. We didn't talk really. And then we started talking again towards the end of January. And that's when she revealed something very huge to me. And that was the fact that she was in a relationship the whole time. She's been caught in a loveless relationship. She doesn't love the guy. She doesn't feel anything for him, supposedly. Um, she, she loves me more, supposedly. She thinks I'm the best, that he doesn't hold up a candle to me, supposedly. Uh, and I'm saying supposedly because even after she told me, this is the kind of guy I am. This is how much I loved her. I said, it's okay, baby. Don't worry about it. I understood why you didn't tell me. I understood why you didn't, you hid this from me. I'm sorry that you had to feel this way. I'm sorry that you were so anxious. I'll, I'll go through this with you. I just want you. I want you at the end of this. I just want you. I want, I, I don't need you. I want you. I think that we can be valuable together. I think that we can achieve things together. I want to bring you to things like VidCon. I want you to introduce you to YouTubers. I want to introduce you to, to, to this new form of media that's coming up. I want to get you and I want you at my side. I want you as my queen. That's what I want. So I was like, so that's why I was, I said that to her right after she said it. It wasn't like, I didn't even do time to think about it. I said, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I love you. Let's do this. And she was like, I'm on board. And then a week passes by and suddenly she's not on board. Suddenly she's thinking, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should commit to you. I can't commit to you. I can't fucking commit to you. What? Why can't you commit to me? And it's not like, okay, I get it because she feels like she's, She's really fucked up about the whole situation. She feels terrible about herself. She was terrible terrible about the fact that she lied to me. She lied to this person who she perceives as super pure. And I was like, listen, I don't give a fuck. I forgave you about that. It doesn't even matter. I wasn't even thinking about that. Why are you telling me that you can't commit to me? And then I'm started then I really started to think about it. I'm like, why can't you commit to me? And the reality is that at the end of the day, at the end of the fucking day, while she was with me, she was with someone else. And while she was with this other person, she let that other person feel like everything was okay. And once again, this isn't because she is a bad person. This is because she is a person who is deeply flawed and has issues that she needs to deal with. And if she is watching, it would be really appreciative if she actually dealt with them. And one of the things that she could do, and this is just a suggestion that I've suggested her before, is, is move past this other guy and replace him with me and it's not like i'm saying like oh i just want to replace something uh, someone else and maybe she'll do it to me down the line i don't think that's going to happen i think that she just needed someone like me in her life i'm being an idiot i'm being a total idiot anyway the end of the day what it, what happened was that uh was that i i was like listen if you're not going to commit to me if you're going to say that you are having trouble committing to me in light of everything that I've offered, in light of the fact that I forgave you without holding against you, don't hold it against you. I just want you to love me and you still have an issue with that. Then that for me told me that made me feel like the side guy. I felt like the side guy. I didn't feel like a guy that was worth fully committing to because the other guy apparently is worth fully committing to, to be involved with regularly on the regular day in and day out, get to see each other on the weekend Go to grocery shopping, go to the fucking movies, go to family dinners. That guy is worth it, but not me. I'm just the guy that gives a good fuck and eats good pussy. That's pretty much what I am. That's what I feel like. And of course she tells me, no, it's not the case. It's not the case. It's not the case. Whatever. I just, th there's one thing is the case. You're a deeply flawed person. So fix it. And it's kind of rude for you to get me involved and then for me to be on board and then you just push me aside like, no, I can't be committed to you. Hold on while I fucking call this other loser. Fuck that shit. I'm sorry I'm angry right now and it's all coming out because I'm talking about it and I really fucking, I'm, I'm being real with you guys and I do apologize. And once again, if you are watching, please, I'm not super angry with you. I'm just fucking pissed off at the situation. Guys, I gotta say something, all right? Now, one thing I'm gonna say is that when you're in a situation like the one I'm in, you have to know your self-worth, okay? And my self-worth is quite fucking high. I think I'm fucking amazing, all right? And any girl would be lucky to have me. I'm not saying I'm God's gift to women. I'm just saying that if that relationship is happening, if there's a relationship involved or she's open to dating me and I'm open to dating her, that girl is fucking lucky, all right? And I'm lucky too because at the end of the day, 
hey man, good partners are hard to come by. But they're fucking lucky. There's no like no doubt in my mind that they're lucky because I bring something that's completely different. My friends have said this about me. They they just know me as a person that's been more open and more for, forward, more real with people than anybody else. We live in a world where people hide behind social media with these fucking nice stories like, I got married yesterday. Oh, I bought a fucking dog. Oh, everything's okay in my fucking life. Sick. Not really. Everything's falling apart. I'm the one that's going to be real and tell you that, holy shit, things aren't really that good or things are really amazing in this aspect. That's what I do. So I'm just letting you know, if you were in a situation such as mine, know your self-worth and get the fuck out. Listen, at at the same time, you don't need to close yourself off to that person because I would at any point take her back if she would want to fully commit to me and be like, listen, I am with you. I'm sorry. I'm with you. It's all good. Let's forget about this. I'll be like, cool. Let's forget about it. Let's continue our life and let's just fucking watch Netflix together and go on dates and I'll eat your pussy whenever I can whenever I want, which is pretty much all the time, by the way, it was all the time, all the time. Like I would have done it anytime. Didn't matter. So know your worth, know your worth. Okay. And this goes for being, if you're a girl or a guy, know your worth. If you're in a situation such as mine, and if you are a a person, if you're a person that's in a situation such as hers, please end it with the other person. I'm saying the other person that you're involved with before getting into some, something with another person. You don't want to hurt that other person who could potentially change your life for the better by staying with one person out of fear. You don't stay with someone because you're not in love with them. Just to put in context, by the way, I was involved with a girl, all right, who couldn't have kids. She couldn't have kids. Physically could not have kids because of issues with her ovaries. This was something I went into knowing, but it grew on me and it grew on me and it grew on me and made me feel really bad because I want kids of my own. I want to be a fucking dad. I want to have daughters. That's what I want. My own kids. So I had to end it with her. And it was the hardest thing ever because I cared about her. She was great. We had we we had a great emotional chemistry. And she was she was intellectually there as well. But there was something about it that was bothering me. And there was nothing there was wasn't room for that. I couldn't have room for that. And I knew that there was someone who could maybe treat her better. So I ended it with her. I didn't keep dating her and then have a fucking side girl. I didn't do that. I ended it with her. And I would end it with anyone, by the way, who wasn't making me happy. I'm not in there to be happy. And in a lot of ways, I ended it. I stopped talking to her. I said, all right, I'm done. Because I'm talking about my current ex-girlfriend. I said, I'm done because uh, you're fucking, uh, you just can't commit to me. What am I doing there? What the fuck is that? Anyway, that's it. That's it. That's all I really wanted to say. I'm going to go ahead and just just put this out there. I don't care what it does. I guess I'm a fucking cuck. Because <laughs> at the same time, she was cucking this guy with me. And then she was also cucking me emotionally because she's still fucking there in this other relationship. Because I'm thinking, oh, she's just with me. I'm a cuck. <laughs> I'm a fucking cuck, guys. Yo, like, share, and subscribe. 